So this one is actually going to be short because it's another one of these uh, clip videos. Um, I was invited on a show called The Quantum Effect, which seems to have very little to do with quantum, but, you know, that aside, basically, um, I'm, I'm willing to go on your show um, if you want to have my insane conspiracy theorist angle. Um, you know, and if you don't mind the stigma of having that evil guy on, because there's a significant amount of people who hate me. Um, so, with that aside, um, I'm willing to go because, hey, they're willing to have me on, and most people aren't. Whether due to, like, fears or concerns or whatever, or just because they don't like my politics because they can't disprove them, but they're mad anyway. So basically, um, I was invited on, and I, I take invitations uh, to these sorts of things very seriously, but basically there's this part where uh, they were trying to say that Trump is just a stupid guy. And uh, so, for those of you who've been following me for a while, I think that the idea that somebody is stupid um, and in power is a way for the powerful to keep their power. Because think about it for just a second. You know, just a second, and you'll realize that the people who uh, are in power would really love you to think that they're just making a long series of totally human blunders. They're just one of us. They're just as stupid as we are. Implying that you're stupid, of course. Um, you know, the whole fucking thing is condescending and terrible. But ultimately, the, the thing results in um, a long series of bad conclusions, which don't normally have good predictive power. Because if you just assume that somebody's stupid and there's no plan, you're not going to look for the plan. If you think somebody's too stupid to draw dots, you're not going to try to connect them. So, uh, I think that's a way for the elites to be evil. It's one of the reasons I like Punisher, you know? He's all about connecting them dots and doing something about it. Um, and, and, and he's not quite into cops because the justice system kind of fucks people over and doesn't do anything for justice, um, you know, kind of too much of the time. If anything, they kind of do the opposite. But anyway, point is that, you know... If you really want to track people down and, and do what needs to be done, you gotta, you gotta understand how they think and not just assume that they didn't do that. So, I don't like it when people just say, hey, this guy's stupid, man. Oh, man, this guy's so fucking stupid. I'm so much smarter than this guy. Hey, did you know this guy's stupid? This guy's so fucking stupid. I don't like that because it draws dead ends where you could be connecting dots. It just says, nope, there's nothing to this story. There's nothing more that I need to say. Guy's stupid. He's a stupid politician doing stupid shit. Um, you know, and when I've not thought that way, I've been right a lot, as you can see from my previous video, where I was right a lot and people still called me insane or dismissed me or, you know, didn't even read what I was saying. Um, because I was predicting the super state that's being built uh, and exactly how it would be built. And, uh, yeah, it's happening. Um, but basically, uh, not to toot my own ass too much, but, like, uh, I was on this show and I kind of went off about like Trump being a state-created boogeyman, a figure created for the explicit purpose of getting you to think, hey, anything associated with this guy is the worst, but anything associated with anyone else is fucking fabuloso. Um, I, I kind of I kind of went off about that on on fucking Twitter today as well, because <laughs> uh, I'm pissed. I'm irritated. So I, I, I kind of just said that, um, yeah, the same kind of people who won't shut up about an unconfirmed P-tape 
want you to shut up about, yeah, Hunter Biden's laptop, his compromised iCloud, Joe Biden falling upstairs or off bikes or to sleep in public or tripping over his own words, dementia, more. You know, not to, you know, he, he even mentioned the unconfirmed uh, Vatican shit. Like, we get to to say all we want about an unconfirmed P-tape and constantly make comments about that. Night, night, late night hosts have done that, done that, done that into the dirt. But if you bring up Biden uh, potentially shitting himself in public... You don't get to do that. That's unconfirmed. You're just being crass and low class. You fucking did that too. All these, it's, I don't care about either. But let's be clear here when we say that, like, there's a significant amount of people who, who did one and now want to morally grandstand about doing any. Ah, uh, fuck these people. I hate, hate. Anyway, so I thought I'd bring that up because, um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you wanted to bring up that a president was just nothing but a moron, Biden is a much better candidate, and um, I don't think either of them are. I think that this is a big fucking soap opera, and one of the reasons they get old people to be presidents is so that they can have dementia-ridden fucking people be at least the face of the operation. Even if they're not even dementia riddled, even if these aren't real things that they're really doing, they can get people trending that subject and not talking about jack fucking anything else. So, um, I thought I would uh, elaborate on my they're not that stupid theory on this show because it came up. And uh, there's also about two hours of it going off the rails because... You're, you're talking to me. Of course it went off the fucking rails. Um, because this is all a lot more complicated than people want to fit in their sound bites. So I'm usually a person that people have on their show maybe once or twice. It's, I'm like an edgy t-shirt from Hot Topic um, where they put it on and then they wear it for that picture on Instagram and then they take it off and never wear it again and it just goes in their closet or whatever or in a box in the attic, or something, something, something. You know, uh, because I have a tendency to put people off. They don't like me after the show, generally. So, uh, if you want me on your show, hit me up. But without further ado, here's a fucking long rant about how, no, actually Trump isn't that stupid, and people who say they believe that really just want to distract from all of the ways in which the elites are, in fact, very smart and knew exactly what they were doing. Because, make no mistake, these were all very intentional picks. Like, the Democrats literally pumped tr uh, Trump money into Trump so that he would be president to uh, candidate material because they thought he would fail, allegedly. Unless that's just part of the soap opera, because, again, they could have just said, we want this guy. So... I go over a lot of this stuff. I figured I would just say this uh, and get this out there so that you guys could have two videos today to compensate for the fact that I haven't been putting out as much as I should uh, over the past weeks. So these should compensate for now, and I should be able to put out more tomorrow, especially with the relaunch of the Agoras Nexus podcast, which is coming back. Um, and it's all edited and uploaded, so we should be able to do that relatively soon. So with that being said, yeah. Enjoy this clip from one of my unhinged rants and uh, smash the fucking state. So, oh, okay, just before before we move Danny. too before we move too far away from Trump, I do want to say something there, uh, and then I've got some stuff to say about the jabs. Uh, but so Trump is malicious, and he's not that stupid. And the reason uh, people uh, think otherwise is because the state has created the most evil, psychotic, and manipulative soap opera in history. Um, and it's global. And everybody around the world can talk about it. And everybody around the world, because of the petrodollar and NATO and things like that, is invested in it. But it's fucking bullshit. Trump helped massively fund Clinton's campaigns. Uh, he was a massive Democrat donor 
for years and years and years and years. He was part of that. Then the Democrats suddenly said, hey, thank you, man. This is just speculation. I have no knowledge of this being true. Just think of me as a massive bluster and used car salesman right now. Um, but they fucking like said, hey, dude, we need a boogeyman for the next several years in order to muscle through some policies. And uh, so how about we don't uh, talk about your failed businesses and all the uh, crimes you might have committed before and make everything about these new crimes, which you can easily and uh, quickly get rid of. Um, and they'll they'll make you look like a massive win for anybody interested in truth or going against the system because uh, the system will seemingly be all united against you, poor widow Trump. Um, the Trump raid was... Dog. Yeah, yeah. And he was seen in many pictures with the Epstein guy. He loves Klaus Schwab. He had Johnson and Johnson guy on stage. But he's got Emperor Q say he's gonna solve everything. Maybe, or maybe you're fucking stupid. He, um so like the, the ultimate psyop. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we agree there. Quick, and so okay, so just ultimately right. that alleged raid, uh that was a civil like thing compared to actual rate like waco that was much yeah, more of what yeah, i would consider a raid not, ruby ridge was a raid this not exactly was an orderly was filing nothing. in and then filing out and he knew it was coming if i uh put on my tin foil here uh and i don't mean a hat those are bad idea those isolate the signals in your skull you want tin foil walls for a faraday effect but um the ultimate thing here would be um, you gotta get you gotta get the idea out of, out, of, out of your head that these people aren't on the same team. It's like George Carlin said, they're in a big club and you ain't in it. And he already knew. They already knew. This was all a big fucking thing. It's why uh, Biden can write the most uh, successful anti-minority crime bills. Um, uh, Kamala Harris can be a cop, a uh, top cop, hey, uh, who that's, helped lock that's up poor Kamala. people. It's Kamala, sir. You better get it right. It's Kamala, though. Um, Listen. So the ultimate thing there is that, like, these people are all state capitalists. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm, you know. Okay. Actually, you want a story about that? One of the one of the episodes for Agorist Nexus, Don't the stop. site I write for, that that got kicked off of YouTube recently. So that's actually a distinct possibility. They kind of don't like me, uh, but yeah. that's Don't why everybody should be on Odyssey stop. because that's the blockchain. Yeah, he, Mm -hmm. Yeah, be, be as base as you like. Uh, it's not even my show, but I'm just saying. <laughs> well, 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 this is how I always I, am. You can ask people. Can I jump? No. Can I jump in real quick? To yeah, go, go ahead. Okay, and then I want to say something. What you just said. Is there anyone here who is not in agreement with the idea? Because like, like he pushed back on my idea that Trump's kind of an idiot. I, I I'm still, I still think he kind of is. But like, is there anyone here who's not on the side of? Trump is one of the villains, and he's in with all the others. Well, okay. Here, here's where I'm gonna agree and disagree with um, Jeremiah. I think what you're saying. Let's just let's just put the facts into the picture, right? It is true that we know that Trump obviously expanded drone strikes to a large degree and bombed, you know, people in the Middle East. We know that. You don't know uh, that he, he canceled the reporting we, mandate. We we ex that's true that is, that's a good point as well. But we know that he expanded the war in Syria, and then only after watching Tucker Carlson, then did he pull out. So he expanded not only the security state by increasing funding to the Pentagon, to the FBI, and to the military. Not that I hate the military, but it does have some more nefarious branches. I hate and, the military. But but Fucking but the military. point is the point is he expanded the security state. He continued the bombing. Yes, he didn't have a new war, which is a good thing. But that he also did do the drone striking and ramp those up, but not just just put that all in the picture because that's all stuff we can all see. You don't need to put your tinfoil hat on to even understand that. Well, don't but what put I a tinfoil hat on. That'll that'll cook your or brain. Or tinfoil walls, like you said. Yeah. But the point that I think I don't think I think you're being a little hyperbolic in the way you state it. So I don't really? think that Trump. Listen, here's the thing, and I talk about this with Kareem. Is I don't think Trump is 100 percent anti-establishment i and i don't i'm not going to deny your claims that he's not working with the other side we know he's worked with clinton right the clintons before and, and the um, saudis with and, the saudis, golf and right, a bunch absolutely. Of other things. so he's definitely playing on both sides but the thing is is like some people like to take certain strands of truth and then blow it into this larger way way 
dramatic Are you saying you don't picture. like balloons, like Klaus, you heartless monster? Listen, but Klaus, Klaus Schwab, when it comes to Trump and Klaus Schwab, yes, in 2019 and in 2020, but let's go to the 2019. Yes, he did go to Davos and he did uh, talk in front of the Davos group. And he touched their balls. Feet. But he also, but he also, um, in that speech, when he went to Davos, said that he's against globalism. So he essentially went to a globalist meeting, the largest, right, the the the, the sort of pinnacle, Ooh. and said we're against globalism. And I'm not saying How that's bold. that big of a thing. But prior to prior to being president, there was no evidence of him um, really working with Klaus Schwab. Not that he's that he hasn't. And then with the Epstein thing, and this is another thing that a lot of people blow out of proportion, is it? Yeah, it is true that Trump um, from 98 to around 2002 was working with Epstein and they were even working out this real estate deal. Right. So here's what happens. He's a uh, great guy. That's a Trump quote. To, he, he's trying to acquire this this real estate property for around 20 million or whatever it is from Epstein. Epstein, basically, he fucks him on the deal. He he, he blows the number <gasps> of portion and Trump gets really mad. So he ended up sort of basically overselling the property and Trump wanted it. So Trump gets mad. This, this, this is it though. Trump, Trump gets mad. Trump gets mad. And then he actually was one of the first, if not the first high, um, you know, high status. I don't think he smokes. Actually, He'd be a lot calmer if he did. To actually go to the FBI and talk about Epstein. So Trump was one of the first high a ranking, um, you know, celebrities to actually go to the FBI and talk about him. He was so, pretty much the first. He went to the FBI in 2004 to basically um, tell them about what he was doing with the children. And like, you know, he was before anyone out, out, out there now who's said something. So he was like one of the first. Now there were obviously um, witnesses and actual victims in the nineties who went to the FBI directly. Yeah. But he did go to the FBI in 2004 and say, hey, this is what's going on with Epstein. Now, a lot As of As retaliation from- and revenge. Yes, yes. No, I, I, I get that. Exactly. But I'm just saying, I think okay. what you said is a little hyperbolic, but not fully wrong. That's all I'm saying. I don't little- think it was yeah, hyperbolic can enough. I, can I jump in there? Can I jump in there? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. For one, it, it is factual, too, that Trump was one of the first celebrities to say anything about Epstein. That doesn't mean he didn't fuck kids first. So... Let's, yeah, let's you could be right. There. I'm just saying, um, but I can't yeah, prove that. Also, you are, I was the first guy right. to snitch on my drug gang. You're, you're absolutely right about the WEF and Trump going there and giving like this very nationalist speech. I would also yeah. say that like, while I'm no fan of the globalists, I'm not a nationalist either. Like, that's not really a point in Trump's favor. All, what I, I think to sort of sum up your point. Because you do, you you do say early on that you know Trump's done all these horrible things. I think the point is that like the elites are all evil, but they're not necessarily all unified or equally as there, evil. There's a lot of that's true, but yeah, like there's there's a lot of conspiracies going on, but not all of it has to be big conspiracy. Like, like yeah. all, I, uh, all I disagree, but I'll I'll elaborate later. Things.